and welcome to another Wolf Time gaming video. We are heading back to Star Wars Legion this week and we're going to be painting these Wookiees and they're absolutely fantastic. Now these are the, the Rebel Wookiees that were released earlier this year but I, I sort of avoided them because I thought they were a little bit out of place with the rest of my forces. Now though with the new Wookiees being released and Yoda being released I can't help myself but to go for a full Wookiee force and this is the beginnings of it. Um, we're going to be painting them all today, I'll just take you through painting the one individual uh, model then we'll talk a little bit about different colour schemes you can do towards the end of the video. Uh, before we get started on that though, as usual, let's get that kettle on. Okay, so if you've been here before, you know the first thing we want to do is get a really good base coat. I've used Games Workshop's Grey Seer to do that. Now, if you've been watching some of my other videos, you'll know this has pretty much been my go-to recently, uh, especially this year because I've been using a lot of contrast paints with the painting, but it really does speed things up if you go for a light one. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is actually paint the eyes. Now, if you used to sort of see my human videos and things, you'll know that it's one of the the main things I want to do straight away is get onto the eyes and also um, because I've got the black out I could paint some of the other areas as well. Now to do the eyes the first thing you want to do is paint a line from the nose essentially to the outside. Simple as that, nice and easy, just a black slit uh, where the eyes would go. Now what I'm doing here as you can see is going around all the areas that show sort of the Wookiee's skin. I suppose underneath his fur so you can see the toes, you see the hands uh, and also the inside of the mouth as well, painting all that with contrast black. Now, the next thing we want to do is to continue the eye. So we've, I've got a little bit of white paint, uh, I'm just using a you know Games Workshop white paint, nothing spe spectacular with it really, it's a normal base paint uh, and all I'm doing as you can see here is painting a line to the center of that black, uh, black slit that we did at, right at the beginning. Now, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know what comes next, which is essentially the iris. Now, to paint the iris, all you need to do is grab a very small, fine-tipped brush and just put, dot a little bit of paint in the center of that white slit. And there you have it. That's essentially your eyes completely done. Now, you don't really need to put any color in there. You don't need to do anything like that because these are so small, you don't even notice. To be honest, you don't even need to do this. If you just did the black slit, that would be plenty to get them looking really, really good on the tabletop. And we'll see that a little bit later in the video. So the next thing I want to do is start painting the fur. Now the, the color I've gone here with here is Contrast Wildwood. If you've seen my, some of my videos before, and I know I keep saying that, um, you'll know that the uh, Contrast Wildwood is pretty much my go-to at the moment for, for anything brown um, because it's a really nice mid-brown, you don't really need to do anything with it, it sinks into the, the recesses really really nicely and looks absolutely fantastic when it's all dry. Now what I am going to be doing though in this instance is highlighting some of the fur um, after we've completely covered the, uh, the whole of the mini essentially or the whole of the fur. Um, it's a really nice colour this is when it's finished you'll see it's very very similar to what we see on screen in the films um, it's, a, it's, it's a decent sort of brown colour not too dark at all however if you want it to go a little bit darker you can concentrate a little bit more around the miniature maybe around the feet maybe the top of the head that sort of thing where you want it a little bit darker you can see I've done that there now as I said earlier on I wanted to highlight some of it and I'm going with a um, brown paint from Games Workshop called Morn Fang brown now this is a really really bright brown so you don't want to go too heavy with this but essentially I'm dry brushing it over the whole of that or not the whole of the fur any of the longer fur around the you know his bum the, the tops of his thighs leaving the base uh, the bottom of his uh, legs and his feet the the contrast uh, wildwood but you can see here I'm picking out all of those sort of raised areas where it might be new fur that's grown and it looks absolutely fantastic when it's done now I'm using exactly the same paint to paint all the leather work on the miniature. You can see the, how different 
um, and how bright the the actual paint is when you just put it straight onto the the leather work then that's why you need to be really careful when dry brushing it onto the mini make sure you do wipe off the majority of the paint don't go too heavy with it because you can't go back it's always better to build up the colors than to actually go in and sink and put a load of colors on there and then realize you've gone a bit too heavy so wipe off the majority and then and then dry brush and then you can pick a, another brush not your dry brush this time to go around the miniature picking out all of those leather all of that with that leather work around it and that's all of that done essentially and you can see there that all that is that sort of light brown color now we're going to work a little bit more on that in a while but next we're going to grab a little bit of uh, retributor gold uh, which is an absolutely fantastic gold it's really really nice and vibrant and bright and we will be darkening this down a little bit later in the video but essentially we just want to have this one gold piece just on his arm he's the squad leader he's got this piece and with some of the other miniatures I've seen coming out recently you've got the weapons and things that will probably go with the same sort of, art, sort of colour scheme for that as well but it's a really really nice bright gold and really does stand out from the rest of the miniature um, it looks fantastic. It adds a little bit more to it. I could have gone silver for the lot, but I really wanted it to stand out. And next, I've grabbed a little bit of white paint again because I realised from earlier when I did the, the eyes that I didn't actually do his teeth. And all you can see here, all I'm doing is just touching the brush just on the teeth there. And then you're getting that effect that the you know really bright teeth shining through his mouth um, in comparison to the rest of the miniature. It really does show up quite well and looks really, really good actually and really effective. I'm glad I, uh, I noticed that one before we, uh, we went a little bit too far. And while we're in that area, I thought it was good now to actually paint his bottom lip as well. Because so I grabbed a little Gulliman flesh and I um, painted this along there because it really is a, a brighter colour. If you look at pictures of sort of Chewy or the Wookiees, they do have sort of a fleshy tone around their mouths. And this is essentially uh, what I'm trying to represent here. In this instance, it's only the bottom lip, but on some of the other minis, you will notice that it's they've got. You can see their top lip as well, so you can pick that out. Then because I wanted to um, have a few different colours on there because I found that there was lots of browns and not much else I grabbed a little bit of Screamer Pink just to do sort of these like kind of kind of like bobbles or ties that are actually on the Wookiee's hair you know he's got um, it on the front and the back on this particular model he's got like these braids um, and I really wanted to, to have them um, standing out thought about going with a Xandri dust but again that's like a essentially a tan and it's another sort of brownish type of colour so I thought I'd go with the Screamer Pink to make it stand out really really nicely. The next thing I wanted to do was go, and go around the, all the uh, silver areas on the mini or all the areas I wanted to be silver and paint them with uh, lead belcher. Now this is my go to for, for silver uh, same way as with the, the Retributor art, um, gold uh, at the moment for the um, you know the gold bits on the minis I'm going with lead belcher pretty much all the time now as you can see I'm picking out the buckles on these pouches um, the actual center and rear parts on, on, on his chest and uh, on his back he's got like a buckle large buckle or ornamental thing that I thought looked really really good silver and I went around the whole of the um, the actual belts as well and picked out what looked to be like ammunition pel belts and that sort of thing and also as you can see a little bit of um, ornament ornamental bits on the uh, the gold uh, arm piece as well now we're going to actually bring all that color back down and add some shading to it and you can see I've already started that now and in particular I'm using Agrax Earthshade around all the, the leather work so where this, this sort of light Mournfang brown was really, really bright, we're bringing that back down and adding some shading onto the edges, essentially. All you need to do is just stick it on there and let it do its work. Let it dry. It'll do it itself. You don't need to do anything else. The, and I'm also going to be using Null Noil, which you can see I'm doing here, around all the silver areas. So you, for the brown areas, you want to go with Agrax Earthshade. For the silver areas, you want to go with Null Noil. Now, you can, if you want to, use one shade for all of it. But I wanted it to have a different effect because what I find with Null Noil on browns is it goes very sort of oily looking rather than um, making it look like a bit more like leather. Uh, and you will see a difference when you use it as well. I'm also get covering that whole of the gold um, sort of ornamental piece on his arm with Null Noil at the same time. Um, and what this does is drop into those recesses and give it a little bit of depth and definition. And it looks really, really good when it's uh, when it's all done. Now that's essentially the miniature uh, complete, so we can move on to basing at this stage. Now I'm going to use um, Ronox Hide for my actual base itself. You can do whatever you want with basing, and it really depends on what planet or where you want them fighting. I've seen loads of different examples of you know, what you can do here. I'm going straight on the base with Ronox Hide, and then I'm going to put a little bit of a mix of 
of grit and uh, grass onto the base in a little while but I really wanted it to have a base of brown because I didn't want uh, any of those bits and pieces to fall off and then you see the white below or the black below essentially now to frame the miniature as I always do I'm going with a black paint around the base I'm just using the contrast uh, black Templar and you can see here it's not great at painting these bla black panels at all but if you do it twice or do it once let it dry and do it a second time give it a second coat this works absolutely fantastically just exactly the same as you know your old abaddon blacks and things like that just give it two coats uh, and you get a really nice effect uh, around the base and you can see here th this is the mix I was talking about with the base in I'm adding a little bit of PVA glue to the actual base itself and what I've got here is a mix of fine sand a few little little rocks that I've, I've, um, I've picked up at, around the uh, bazaars uh, and I've got a little bit of um, static grass in there as well what I'm doing is dipping it in once that's actually done and then wiping all the excess from around the base and you can see unfortunately I didn't wait until the, the black was fully dry around the base there so I did need to touch that up after but that's it that's the model complete I think it looks absolutely fantastic I, I really do think that light brown leather work works really really well around his waist um, the silver like works works well it's it, shines quite nicely and stands out from the miniature really well and that gold does add that little bit more I could have painted it complete silver but adding that little bit of gold really does work even the little details around the you know the ties on his hair and things like that work work wonders uh, and the basing really does finish it off uh, nicely as well or at least in my opinion I think it does and you can see that once you get these all together on the tabletop and they're all painted they look absolutely fantastic however you will notice there's a few little variations in what I've painted them or the style I've painted them now on the on the left hand side there you can see the guy who, who with the bow caster uh, I've got gone exactly the same as the the main character the the squad leader uh, through the throughout the video so you can see those two miniatures look almost identical in their colorings the uh, second in from the left what I've done there instead of highlighting with Mournfang Brown I've highlighted the fur with Zandri Dust so you've got that very very different feel it's almost got a tan sort of blonde uh, feel to the actual fur of the miniature and the guy on the far right there is a completely different colour because I've gone with a uh, Basilicum Grey as the base coat and then highlighted over the top with Administratum Grey and what this does is give you a sort of grey sort of uh, feel to the fur which looks absolutely fantastic because most of the uh, Wookiees that we see on screen are that brown sort of colour I'm probably going to stick with this throughout the force that I'm going to be painting over the next few weeks but I am definitely going to add another one of those grey ones in there because I think he's, the variation looks really really good on the tabletop really do hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it I hope it helps you in uh, deciding how you want to paint your walkies in the future as well but thanks for watching guys make sure you do hit that subscribe button and go and check out the other videos on the channel now there's loads of Star Wars Legion themed videos on there as well as Star Wars Armada and a few bits and pieces that aren't Star Wars related as well I'm sure you'll enjoy but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one